Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is part two of uh, my Savage uh, Chambered in 308, the FCP model, uh, which is a supposedly a precision uh, rifle with a 24 inch barrel. Uh, I'm still getting used to it. But the reason uh, I'm shooting it today and doing this video is because I need some benchmarks to uh, to do my load development. So I'm shooting uh, two different types of uh, factory ammo. Uh, the first one is Winchester and 180 grain power point. You saw that in the last video. And then this new one, Ultramax 110 grain. Uh, it should be a screamer. Not that I intend for this... Uh, for this rifle to be a varmint rifle, but that should be over 3,000 feet per second. It'd be kind of interesting to see the point of impact, and uh, and they are Sierra, they are loaded with Sierra bullets. So, I got my chronograph on. The chronograph will uh, I call that the lie detector. The lie detector will tell me where to go from here. So I'll roll in uh, some shots, uh, some brief uh, footage of shots. And then I'll show you the target at the end and evaluate that so that if you're contemplating this type of rifle, you can see what I've done and move on from there. But no matter what, thanks for watching. Uh, hang on, we got shooting. Yes, okay, so here goes my first three shots. Ears are in, safety glasses are on, and here we go. Six forty nine. Twenty six forty three. Twenty six fifty one. So these are 180 grain Winchester power points, uh, not really known for the great accuracy, but again, I have the uh, baseline of the numbers to work from because that's all I'm trying to do is, is when I start working up loads is number one is my objective is to do better than factory ammo uh, in terms of speed, in terms of velocity, and a definitely accuracy, and try to tailor make those loads to this gun. Uh, so I'll show you the target after I get done sh shooting the next. Okay, everyone. So this is the last three shots of this uh, Ultramax uh, 110 grain. Uh, they're varmint loads. I don't intend to shoot those or intend to, you know, load them up. This is not a varmint rifle. It's a CPX2, uh, uh, deer size and larger. Uh, so 150 grain on up is what I intend to load for. But uh, I've already shot six rounds and they shoot pretty accurate. Uh, uh, the average velocity is right around 3150. So that's pretty cut pick and high. And the barrel is reflecting that by being pretty hot. But other than that, uh, the recoil is quite pleasant. So here's the last three shots. Uh, and I'll show you the target as soon as I'm done shooting. I'll turn the camera a little bit. Maybe you can see the target in the background there. All right, here we go.
Okay, so let's go take a look at that target. Okay, folks, here's the target. Uh, first one up is the Winchester PowerPoint 180 grain. Uh, this was my first four shots here with a called flyer. Uh, that's right at one inch. Uh, not too bad. The average was 26.52, standard deviation of 10, extreme spread of 27. It was my second group. The barrel did heat up a little bit or hit probably just shooter error. That opened up to about an inch and a half group uh, if you include that one out there. But here's the surprise. This Ultramax 110 grain uh, average 3160 feet per second, standard deviation of 6, extreme spread of 12. Uh, here was my first three shots. Here was my second three shots. And here was my last three. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with those, uh, even though this is not a varmint rifle. Uh, that Ultramax ammunition out of the box, I know nothing about it, but boy did it ever do good. So I'm looking forward to reloading. Once again, folks, if you like my videos, uh, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon for notification of my next videos. But uh, this rifle and me are getting used to each other. Now it's just to uh, try to get this kind of group with my uh, reloaded ammunition with 150 grain uh, SSTs and Sierras and uh, Spear Gold Dots and I'll be, I'll be happy. Alright, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks.